Snowmobile capital of the world, what's good? We're here for the Ram Truck Snowcross National presented by Quick Trip and Nielsen Enterprises. We're here, Eagle River, Wisconsin World Championship Derby Complex. Gonna take a little waltz through the pits, show you the lay of the land here. Uh, bear with us, these pits are kind of spread out and arranged differently than some of our other stops on the tour, so we might take some breaks here, cut. But uh, we're gonna start things off here with KC Motorsports. So if you haven't already, head on over to snowcross.com. You can check out episode 14 of the Snowcross podcast presented by Amazon. Oil. I caught up with Evan Christian, who's high point man for the sport division, and his teammate, who's new to the team this year, Evan Doubt, who's one of our pro light winners this year, so some really good stuff. Evan Christian's won here at the Derby Complex for the World Championship Snowcross Division in 2012. Evan Doubt also has some history here, so go ahead and check that out. It's a really good episode, I promise you that. Uh, pitted next to them, we have a Team Lavalley high point man for pro light, Adam Peterson, had his first win since the opening round in round 12 at ERX Motor Park just two weeks ago. Um, but you know, he's held on to that red plate for the balance of the season. Consistency pays off. And also for Team LaValle, we have Kyle Poline, who I did not see, but I did hear it tentatively. I was talking to Brittany Poline a few weeks ago in ERX. Uh, Kyle Poline unfortunately sustained a concussion. She said he's gonna rest up, follow doctor's orders, and with their approval, he could be back for Eagle River here in a few weeks. So here we are. Uh, keep your eyes out for Kyle Poline. Um, it sounds like he could be lining up, but I don't have 100% confirmation on that. Put it right across from them. We have Anderson Racing, lots of storylines here. Megan Brodeur, your three-time pro women's champion, Sure. She comes into this weekend with 13 points lead in that points championship race. She has gone home these last two breaks in the action here. Uh, she's actually seen riding a snow bike. You love to see it. Just, so just staying active when she's home. Uh, she's happy, she's healthy, leading that points championship again. Her teammate Cameron Anderson, again out for the season, but he's been diligent in his therapies. And Corbin Anderson, uh, he had his first career pro light win just two weeks ago in ERX Motor Park. And also he welcomed his baby girl that same weekend. So congratulations, Corbin Anderson. What an exciting weekend for you, bud. Uh, more where that came from, I know he's fired up to get more of those pro light wins. So we'll see what the Anderson Racing crew can do this weekend. And I do see Jake De Silva out here, who is now working with Megan Roder as her Dad Patrick was not with us at ERX Motor Park. He stayed back home, so Megan making a few changes in her program here. Uh, of course, Megan had the big win Saturday night at ERX. She said it was just a change of mindset. She said, this one is mine, and it paid off for her big time. Hit it right next to Anderson Racing. We have Anderson Motorsports. We have number 64, and the cake pro light sled just outside. Of course, teammates with pro rider Aki Palaya. We're getting a look at the Judnick Motorsports crew. I see Scott Judnick pushing that 631 sled Carson Allred back into the trailer here, one of their satellite riders. A pro light rider who is just 13 points outside of the top three in pro light. So while he may not have had podiums at ERX, uh, Carson Allred, he's still up in that top five championship conversation. Also have Emil Har, who had his first career pro podium Saturday night at ERX Motor Park. That was big. He said, you know what, going into this weekend at Eagle River, you can expect two more from me. So eyes on at Emil Har. We also have his teammate, Nick Lorenz from Pro Light, one of our winners earlier this year. He said, vacation's over. Well, he's actually been out with a broken wrist since Sioux Falls, but he's back in action this weekend. We're gonna walk on down here to our next. Who we got pitted next to them? Oh, Boss Racing. Can't miss him. So uh, Boss Racing, Elias Ishul, high point man, of course. He's gone one, two, three for Dale, three wins in a row coming into Eagle River. He's actually the only pro rider to have his points coming from the finals greater than his points coming from the qualifiers. Um, he has currently 51.5% of his points coming from those main events, uh, whereas everyone else is under 50%. So this is a little statistical factoids for you, but um, his teammate, Jordan Lavelle, unfortunately, you've probably seen the news, is injured, a broken wrist at ERX in a practice crash. Tough, tough break for Jordan, who was only able to race four race weekends with us, Fargo through ERX. And what he was able to do in those four race weekends, absolutely phenomenal. Two wins, multiple qualifier wins. So get well sued, Jordan. We hope to see you back next year. I'm confident we will, it sounds like. But a tough break for Jordan. So also now filling in for Boss Racing here, we have Dominic Hegman, who is currently holding that red plate in Junior 14, 15, and Junior 16, 17. So looking for the Boss Racing crew. You see Jesse Elias' mechanic up there taking a look at the racing action. They're hit it right across from the track entrance. And just beyond 
from the Boss Racing crew, we have a Warner at Racing here. Dan Benham made a big comeback, made a statement at ERX Motor Park, of course, back from that knee injury. One of the fastest sleds on track at ERX Motor Park, Friday especially. But uh, good things for Dan Benham and Francis Pelletier. He currently sits just four points behind the second here in that points championship race. So Francis Pelletier, one of our pro rookies. I know he's looking for those pro rookie of the year honors. Uh, just a couple rounds left, but he's, uh, he's up there. Pitted right next to them, we have Henches Racing. Now, Oscar Norum, number 40. Statistically, he's a bit of an outlier. So if we're looking at average finishes in the final, Oscar Norum is second, second best for average feature finishes. He is at a 5.25. Elias Ischel is up around a 2. Podcast presented by Amswell just a few weeks ago. Go ahead and have a listen to episode 13. But back to Henches Racing, Oscar Norm, uh, second best for overall feature finishes. Um, that is a 5.25. Everyone else is a sixth or further back. So while Oscar Norm may be fifth in points, um, he's definitely been up there for feature finishes. I did get some tough news. Cody Cam not going to be lining up tonight, uh, but he will possibly be back um, due to, uh, to health concerns. Um, but nothing to be too worried about. Out. He might be he might be seeing him tomorrow night possibly, but I did get word hoping to get more on that story. But Cody Cam not lining up here for round 13 in Eagle River. Pitted just in front of them, Shearing Speed Sports. I did have a chance to sit down with team owner Steve Shearing, who has quite the history with the World Championship Derby Complex. Of course, a very decorated ice oval racer, raced from 1978 to 1994, I believe it was. So we're talking the good old days. Um, he, I asked him also, how's, how's Hunter, how's Lincoln doing? He said, it's been a humbling year, that's for sure, but both riders, happy, healthy, ready to charge. Both riders had podiums recently, and they have been, usually this time of the year, you start to see people um, easing up on practice, not practicing as much. In fact, between these two weekends, I believe most practice tracks are actually closed at this point, but they've been going so hard with testing and practicing up at home base in Aurora. So they've been putting in the hard work, see if it pays off. We see Alexa Zanstra getting ready to head out for pro women, number 530. Her teammate Jacob Yerk had a podium, a second place finish in round 11 at ERX. And that was his first podium since the big win in Deadwood. So I know Jacob Yerk super excited. They're continuing to learn each and every weekend. And just in front of them, we have Katu Motorsports. Now, Cole Katu had his career best, a fourth place finish in ERX Motor Park. Great finish for Cole, a kid with so much natural talent. You can see his teammate for Pro Light, Travis Kern, standing off the back gate there. Travis, second in Pro Light points, had a number of podiums, two podiums, a second and a third at ERX Motor Park. What else we got on Travis Kern? Yeah, back to back podiums actually led some laps in the uh, Pro Light final. He knows what it takes to win. Of course, one of our winners in Deadwood. We're gonna take a right here, go down this row, get a look at some more of our pro, pro light, pro women teams. All right, here on kind of the last leg of our US Air Force pit walk, I have Tasha Lang pitted here, the 214 from pro women. She was seemed like one of the fan favorites at ERX, which of course for home track, she was able to get a third place finish on Saturday and the crowd went absolutely wild at the podium. So uh, good things for Tasha, multiple podiums this year. And actually the Lang family, you know that name because we see her brother AJ race the vintage World Championship Snowmobile Derby weekend here in Eagle River, a family history so deeply rooted in snowmobile racing on the eyes of side as well as snowcross aj of course of course also a former snowcross racer so looking forward to catching up with her more on that so stay tuned for that interview pitted just beyond tasha lang we have christian brothers racing of course you know uh we have logan christian out for the season he's going to be nursing that broken ankle following doctor's orders but also anson shiel now uh one thing on anson shiel is he had noted that uh, he was better on Saturday than Friday at ERX. And he says, slowly getting better each night, getting better and more consistent. There we see Fred alone racing. Tony Fred alone. What's up, buddy? Mechanic Hayden as well for the team. We have Travis Muller pitted just behind Fred alone racing. Travis Muller back in action this weekend in the 436, one of our pro riders. And on his team, Jake Blanchin who has been consistently on the box up there in the, I believe, second in Pro-Am plus 30 points. 
And we're coming up on the 157 Pro Snow Biker, Troy Horvati. If you haven't seen it already, we did a what's in your gear bag segment. You'd be surprised all that he can fit in his FXR gear bag. We see Cody Krantz, star of the FXR what's in your gear bag segment. You see, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, Cody. Race is a 120 side-by-side -side with Championship Off-Road. We're just 30 minutes from Crandon. We'll be back racing with Champ in just a few weeks. We'll see Cody out there. Also have Krejcik pitted next to them. We have Jesse Kirchmeyer, number 42. One of his steeds here, of course, pro snow bike points leader. He's been on absolute fire these days. Uh, Mitch Thielen, we saw him just come off the track a few moments ago. Teammates Grady Johnson, Avery Hemmer, Lila Hemmer, Avery Hemmer leading those 120 champ points, looking to get back-to-back -back titles for her. Now another note, um, pitted elsewhere here in the pits, we actually have Trent Whitworth. I just want to mention, he uh, had some really good chats with him at ERX Motor Park. He said um, he's only raced, he's only lined up for nine of 12. <laughs> Jesse, the snow bike cowboy, the, oh, he is, they call him Showtime. And I'll have to ask him about this. He's not the OG Showtime. I'll remind you, Showtime, Carl Shabitsky. That's the OG Showtime, but this is, this is the modern day. Showtime, uh, Jesse Kirchmeyer. So he's been absolute fire in a, in pro snow bike. But um, Trent Whitworth, he has only lined up for nine of twelve finals. So much of that, and actually all of that, has been due to his wrist injury sustained prior to the season. He has not turned a single practice lap this year, mind you. And he says, even though he's only raced nine of twelve main events, that he's really proud of what he and this R12 Designs D and D racing team have been able to accomplish this year. Um, he was able to get his first pro podium. He says this year feels like his true rookie season. They're really finding something. And he said not only working with this team, but last year when he got back on the green sled, back on the Arctic Cat, he said it took him half a lap before he said he felt like he is at home again. So uh, another thing to note here this weekend at Eagle River, we have Sam Bluin, who is back racing pro light this weekend, and we're super excited to have him. He's done very well historically in pro light last year, if you can remember. I believe uh, finished around seventh. Um, but nonetheless, top 10 in points for ProLite, so he's back in action. Hasn't been able to make it down because of the borders, but we're happy to have him. So that does it for our U.S. Air Force pit walk. Hope you enjoyed that. Tune in all weekend long here on Snowcross Live from the World Championship Derby Complex.